Okay, uh, I am making this video specifically for a number of guitar beginners who have asked me to to give them some type of guidance on how to develop um, some sort of routine to uh, to learn chords on the guitar so I'm assuming that uh, those of you who have sent me messages in my inbox I'm assuming that you already you have been playing you know at least for a couple of months and then you know a few things about uh, uh, the locations of the notes on the on the on the fretboard you know a few things about uh, at least the major scales especially the C major scale you know something about uh, triad and then now you're ready to get to to move to the next step uh, by learning how to how to by learning chords but uh, you also need to know how how to build chords uh, for chords uh, from the from the skills that you have learned how to build you need to know how to build uh, tried and uh, and so on so but uh, the w one thing that I know most uh, most uh, beginners the first chord uh, they play is the C major tried okay and uh and that's my that's that would be my advice to you beginners you you need uh, to take it one step at a time before you move on to learning bar chords you need to start with uh, with the open chord well, I would say the open chords. That's 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 what I would advise you to start with. You just you just don't jump on playing bar chords, and later on you might you you might have to come back and and learn the open chords, which is not going to be easy for you because you're gonna you're going to develop bad habit bad habits that that uh, you will have to correct and it's not easy to do that so my advice to you is my advice to you is to start playing open chord open chords like if you play you can start with the C major open chords which is gonna be you're gonna use the first three three frets and once again this is simple basic stuff this is this is not for for the guitar gurus this is not for the advanced you know guitar players advanced students this is just for those beginners who have who have asked me for help okay so the, you start with your C C tried C major open open chord open chord that means you have open strings in the chord you're playing 
as opposed to when you play bar chords you're playing closed you know you press you, you when you play bar chord you know you're playing closed well closed chords okay because you put you put your fingers you press the strings that you you know you're using to play the chords you press them they're not open okay so C major triad using the first three fret, frets which is C E G C E G okay so you have uh, you got to open G on the sixth string you got then you press the C on the third fret uh, fifth string then you press E on the second fret uh, fourth string then you got your high G open then you press C on the on the first fret B string and the high E stays open okay so then you play your you play your C major triad strings in it you didn't press all those strings so the, those are the chords that you need to start playing first before you move on to to the bar chords so uh, but you can play more than the C major triad you can play different types of the same C major chord. For example, you can now you can play you can play the first inversion of the of the of the C major chord. That means instead of starting on the instead of starting playing the chord on the root which is C you start playing the chord on the third which is E and if you want you can play the highest uh, you can play the fifth the fifth de degree on the first on the E string on the high high E string which is G and then it's gonna give you a very nice first inversion. A very very nice sound. But it's still C except you're playing it you're playing the first inversion the first inversion of the original C major triad. It's gonna sound something like this. Okay, but th this chord can be this this version of the C major triad. You can if you can mute the the third string, you can you can move it up and down the neck of the guitar to give you different 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 chords you're transposing but you have to be able to mute the the G string because once you move once you move you know from C major triad to like D major triad now that if you leave the G string open, 
it's not gonna it's not gonna it's not gonna sound good so you have to be able to mute that that's, that's the G string so this is this is the first inversion 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 of the C major triad <laughs> down the neck they, to get more to get different different chord different chords by transposing uh, you can get you can get C major you can get D major triad or so to play the scale you know using you can play the chord scale here I think you can say C D E F G A B Also play the scale, you know, uh, in reverse. Now, all right. Uh, what else? Uh, okay. What else you can do? Okay, you can play. You can lower the third. You can play the C. Okay, you play the C major triad. <laughs> C minor triad. Yeah, you can play C minor triad by lowering the uh, the third of the triad, which is E. Yeah, one half step. You lower it one half step, which is one fret down, and that will give you the C, the C minor. Okay, a C. Okay, that's B flat, uh, E flat, G and C. That's an E minor open chord. But uh, when you get um, when you get uh, a little deeper into chord theory. There's uh, other things you can do, uh, you know, with a simple triad like, like this. For example, I'm playing now C, C minor. Which is uh, E flat, G and C. High C. Now, I can see that I, I have open A. If I play A as I'm playing, if I play A together with the C minor, then it's gonna it's gonna, it's gonna give me a C minor six because A is the sixth note. Six not in this in the C major scale. So if I see, I can try to extend the chord by playing A, open A, like this. That would be that would be C minor six. Okay. Now you you can play something you can play another type of C which is called uh, C suspended four. C suspended four. That means instead of playing the note E 
which is the third of the C triad, you're gonna play the, the you're gonna play the fourth note of the C major scale, which is F. That will give you C suspended four. another suspended chord we can play we can play C suspended 2 that means we know instead of playing the, the third note of the C triad or the fourth note of uh, which we which we just played in order to get C suspended 4 we're gonna play the second. We're gonna play the second. Yeah, we're gonna play the second second note in the key of C major, which is D, and we will get C suspended two. Okay, so here we're gonna we got D open. We're gonna we're gonna we have open string D. Well, we're gonna leave that open. We're gonna. We're gonna we're gonna leave D open. That will give us our suspended two. So we're still playing C. Okay, we're just playing other types of C, of C, other versions of C. Okay, so now we're gonna play. We're gonna be. Let's leave the. We're gonna leave the uh, the D string open, and then we play. We play the. It's gonna be like C and then open D and then C octave that will give us our C suspended 2 oh sorry, sorry that's wrong sorry, oh, we, we also have to have G open that was my, that was my mistake we got, we have, we're gonna have G, open G, open D and then we're gonna we 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 pressing C octave and C and low and low C that will give us uh, our C suspended two. Okay. That C suspended two. Okay. Now we uh, we can also play another C type chord that is called C add 2 okay oh, uh, no let's call it C add 9 because when you when we when, when we play 2 we play C suspended 2. Now we're gonna say we're gonna play C at 9. Okay, when we say when we say 9, it is it is it is almost it is similar it is similar to 2 except is in it is in octave. Okay, so you need to add you know you need, you need to add that that two to seven, you, you know, because that that two now is going to be nine because you got seven note and you go to octave seven plus two, then you got nine. Okay, so now two becomes nine. Okay, so now I can play C add. I'm going to play C add nine. Okay, you play C you still play your C and E and then on the on the second string third fret on the B string second string third fret you play your D which is the which is uh, the second note in the key of C in octave now 
it is 9 because we have added 7 to it. So I have that your C add 9. Okay? Okay. So now when you play that. Uh, you can play right, right here you can play other chords okay now let's say okay you're playing C C at 9 right here right okay what if you want to play okay C minor 9 okay then if I'm gonna play C minor 9 I know I need the uh, I need uh, C, C minor seventh would give me if I have C minor seventh I would have to play B B flat and then then I add the nine so that will give me then I will play right here that C minor nine would be would be sound something like this. This one it is a closed, it's a bar chord, not bar. Well, it's a bar chord, but it's not. You you don't you're not pressing all the strings, you know. But, but it's movable. It's movable. I mean, you can you can play other chords by moving that shape up and down the neck. Okay. Seven, okay. No, C major seven is easy, very easy down here. All you need to do, you press uh, C uh, uh, third fret, fifth string, and you press E second fret, uh, fourth string, and you play everything else. You know, open. That will give you. C major seventh. C major seventh. That means you play you to the C. You add the seventh note in the key of C major to your C major triad. That will give you C major seventh. And the seventh note in the key of C major C major is B. So then you got your open B, okay, right here. That will definitely make it make the chord a C major seven chord. All right. So here we go. between between major seventh and dominant seventh when you play major seventh you playing the seventh the seventh you add to the triad the seventh note of the major scale for example the C major scale which is B now if you're going to play C dominant seventh now to the C triad, okay, you're going to add the flat seventh of 
the sea, the flat seventh in the sea, major scale, or any major scale in this example. But in the case of C major scale, the flat seventh is going to be B flat. So to play C major seventh, you have to play your triad, which is which is your C triad, your C triad, which is C E G. And then to that you add the B, you add the B flat, and that will give you your C dominant seven. That's what we're gonna do here. This is the C E and then okay C E C and then okay and then you got your C. C dominant seven. This chord, this chord is movable. You can move it up and down the neck. Then you get, you get other chords. You know, you move you like for example here you, get, you have C, C dominant seven. You move two frets up. You have your D dominant seven. Dominant seven, and then you got D, D sharp, dominant seven, and so on. All right. So, yeah, that's beginners that you need to do. You need to start before you move on to to the bar chords. You need to experiment with the open chords. Because the open chords, man, they they can sound, they can they can really sound pretty good in the right context. So okay, so we remember those chords. Okay, you have uh, your C major. This is why you have to you have you have to practice the your your open chords because uh, to tell you I got to be honest with you I have not been playing open chords for for a while now so after now I am trying to I'm trying to help you out you know is. I'm just kind of practicing also, and I feel I feel a little rust. Yeah, I feel a little rusty because I've not been playing them for a while. So this is why, you know, as a beginner, as beginners, don't don't skip it. Don't skip those chords. Learn them. Okay, so you know, you got your C. C minor. You got your C, C, C triad, first inversion. You, you can move it. If you can, if you can mute the G string. You got your. C suspended four, C suspended two, C at nine, C minor nine, C major seven, C dominant seven. get uh, the point you get uh, I know you get the point I'm trying to make and then now uh, maybe next time we, we we will learn we will talk about uh, open chords 
such as G, A, G, no, no, a G. Yeah, well, G too, but this one is a D, A, G. Okay, all those open chords are very important to know. Okay, so next time.